this chamber behind me is called Lorentz. It's a uh, low temperature uh, chamber. Uh, so the idea is that you can put an antenna inside it and cool it down to uh, very cold temperatures. Uh, it's the typical temperatures that you find when a satellite is actually in space. Uh, today I'm involved in removing the flight hardware of the SWI instrument uh, for JUICE. It's uh, an RF instrument that's going to be looking at the atmospheres of the Jupiter and some of its moons. So normally we measure most uh, antennas here at ESA in our Hertz facility. Uh, it's the big blue room that's seen in all our photos here. Uh, there you have the big blue spikes and they uh, absorb the radiation because so, you don't want any reflections when you're measuring your test. Because this instrument is on the outside of the JUICE spacecraft, it's going to get very cold when it's in the orbit around Jupiter. So we wanted to make sure that the performance of the instrument, uh, we have the best, uh, best knowledge possible that the instrument will perform when it's in this orbit. So this chamber will allow the instrument to get cold and yet we can then still measure the uh, RF properties of the uh, instrument. So inside this chamber, uh, the temperatures get down to about minus 180 Celsius. To get that cold, we have uh, outside this building, we have some very large uh, nitrogen tanks that hold about 25,000 liters of liquid nitrogen. Uh, and that gets pumped around the outside of the chamber and that has the effect of it uh, cools everything uh, down inside it. So now we've uh, finished this uh, successful test, the in instrument's taken out, uh, they do an inspection to make sure that everything is okay and then it'll be going on now uh, with a few uh, final inspections back in Germany before it's then integrated onto the actual JUICE spacecraft. To get it out of the chamber uh, we have to uh, use a crane to remove these large lids. Each lid is uh, over a ton in weight. Well now that we've successfully uh, demonstrated this chamber works, uh, this opens up a whole new uh, world of opportunities for testing uh, antennas and instruments uh, in their representative environment. So uh, there's hopefully lots of exciting tests uh, coming up this chamber. My name is Ali Ravanbakhsh. Uh, I am the AIVT manager of SWI Submillimeter Wave Instrument on board JUICE and I work for Max Planck Institute of uh, Solar System Research. So now the chamber is open, everything is at room temperature, but everything was, was very cold, Jupiter-like cryo temperatures for some days and we hope that we, we got good results. It was a successful test uh, thanks to the 24-7 support of ESA colleagues here at STEC. But we were anxiously also following everything uh, remotely, the temperatures and the performance data. Everything went well. The instrument physically no damage and survived the test. And happy, happy again to, to deal with it, to prepare it for the next tests.